Hello and welcome to my lab. I haven't had anything for you guys in quite some time, so I figured I'd at least show you what I've been doing in the past couple of weeks at work. Uh, thankfully, the guys that I'm working with, uh, Remotion here in West Michigan, uh, Grand Rapids, are letting me record this and make this video, so thanks to them. Uh, let's go jump into it. This application is a machine tending robot, and I'm just here to program that robot. So you can see we're swapping parts out so the uh, machine here can just keep running autonomously at least for a while. There's two pallets. Uh, one's got unfinished parts and the other one has the finished parts that came out of the machine. So really, I uh, just need to increment through these pallets and uh, load the machine. Uh, of course, there's a bit more programming to that than uh, you would at first think because uh, there's a lot of edge cases to handle and you gotta make sure the robot can't crash into anything. It is pretty cool though how uh, there's an area here where the robot arm can exit its enclosure and uh, the reason we can do that is because we have a safety scanner uh, attached to the machine and it just detects if anyone walks inside a little safe boundary. If anyone does walk in there then the uh, robot itself is actually paused and it can pause mid-movement, mid-program. The program will just pick up from where it left off and just uh, continue what it was doing. Then here you can see there's a um, a big inertia mismatch as we try to open the door. Um, but that's part of the reason why you wouldn't normally do that. Um, normally you'd have like a, a cylinder that would open the door for you, uh, but it is convenient to not have to have anything but the robot here. There's also quite a few chips, um, so we added a blow off. You can see that I'm uh, just blowing across the front of the collet here. The operation itself is uh, pretty cool as well. We're cutting without coolant and this is a hardened part, so it, it uh, gets pretty hot in there. It's nice to watch. This application's been a bit of a challenge actually, uh, firstly because the enclosure is a bit small, so I have to make some careful movements just to make sure that no part of the robot can uh, clip the enclosure. You might be able to notice that I'm using a sort of gated movements so that I can go to and from certain places on the machine uh, with less risk of actually hitting something. So there's only one way to go from the enclosure to above the machine door, and that's very intentional so that uh, so I don't have to test every possible movement uh, that could be done between those two locations. So that's a quick look at uh, some of the stuff I do for work. I end up uh, running all over the place doing these kind of uh, projects. So that makes it a little bit difficult to uh, get some videos out, but I do actually already have another one that I'm working on. I'm not exactly sure when that'll uh, end up coming out. Uh, but you should, you know, keep your eyes open for that coming soon. Unfortunately, that's all I've got uh, for today, but uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. You look so sad. Tell me when you're going. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>